Hi, welcome back to Movie Laps. Today I'm going to explain you an action, thriller movie titled Bullet Train. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. The film opens at a hospital in Tokyo. Yuichi is by the bedside of his son who was pushed off a rooftop while his father was absent. After some time, Yuichi's father, the elder arrives and reminds his son that fathers are supposed to protect their families. Hearing this, Yuichi goes off to find whoever hurt his son. An assassin named Ladybug is returning to work after a leave of absence. He considers the name ironic as he doesn't believe he is lucky like Ladybugs usually are. He is also filling in for another assassin, Carver, who is sick. Ladybug speaks to his handler, Maria Beetle, who assigns him to board a bullet train heading from Tokyo to Kyoto. His task is to recover a briefcase containing money with a train sticker on the handle. As he makes his way over, Ladybug gets bumped into by Yuichi, causing him to drop a key to a locker and his train ticket. Ladybug is good at picking locks and breaks into the locker to find a gun in there, but he takes sleeping powder instead of it, despite Maria's insistence. By following Maria's instruction, Ladybug finds the briefcase and luggage carriage not knowing it belongs to two assassin brothers, Tangerine and Lemon. They were sent by a crime boss known as the White Death to recover his son and a briefcase full of cash. Lemon lives much of his philosophy based off Thomas the Tank Engine, and he relates certain people to characters from the show. Later when Lemon checks the carriage he discovers the briefcase is gone. However he isn't worrying because he thinks the most important task is to hand over the boy instead of briefcase. So then Tangerine explains to Lemon about how White Death was a Russian wanderer who ended up working as the right-hand man of a Yakuza boss named Minijishi. Then he ended up forming his own gang and betraying Minijishi and killing him. Yuichi boards the train after finding a lead on who pushed his son. He is tossed by an assassin called the Prince, who poses as an innocent schoolgirl to throw people off to her true nature. When he wakes up, she tells him that she pushed his son to lure Yuichi to her, as it was he who supplied Lemon and Tangerine with the briefcase. She wants Yuichi's help in rigging the briefcase and giving it to White Death to kill him. Prince has also rigged a gun to blow his head up when the trigger is pulled. In order to force Yuichi to cooperate, Prince tells him that she has a henchman at the hospital ready to kill his son if he doesn't hear from her. After recovering the briefcase Ladybug is set to get off from the train. Before he steps out, he is found by another assassin known as the Wolf. A flashback shows Wolf working his way up in the cartel under a boss called El Saguaro and then finding a wife. However, everyone at Wolf's wedding was poisoned, including El Saguaro and Wolf's wife. He believes Ladybug is responsible for their deaths, and he attempts to kill him. The two fight in the bar car before Wolf's knife bounces off the briefcase and plunges into his heart, killing him. Ladybug covers up Wolf's wounds and calls Maria. She informs him that he was a cocktail waiter at Wolf's wedding, and the tequila served there was spiked with poison from a boomslang snake, which was stolen from a zoo in Tokyo and is actually on the train. After coming back to their seats, Lemon and Tangerine discovers the son has also been poisoned to death. They cover his face up and clean the blood before going off to find Ladybug. Ladybug encounters Lemon in the quiet car and recognizes him from a job in Johannesburg. They fight, with Ladybug trying to disarm Lemon. Ladybug ultimately knocks Lemon out and spikes his water bottle with sleeping powder. Ladybug then bribes and switches clothing with another passenger and talks to Maria again. She tells him that another assassin, the Hornet, was hired by White Death and is on the train. Meanwhile, Tangerine has to get off at the next stop briefly to meet with White Death's goons to assure them that the job is going according to plan. After getting back in, Tangerine finds Ladybug in the bathroom and fights him, believing that Ladybug poisoned White Death's son. Ladybug opens an emergency door and causes the two to nearly fly out of the train before pulling themselves back in. White Death contacts Tangerine to let him know that if they do not show up with the son and the briefcase, he will kill everyone on the train. Tangerine doesn't know what to do but Ladybug has an idea. Since the gangsters don't know what Lemon looks like, Ladybug will pretend to be him. The two get off at the next station after stealing a random briefcase and attempt to fool White Death's men by posing as brothers, but Ladybug accidentally opens the briefcase and blows their cover, forcing them to run back onto the train. Ladybug then kicks Tangerine off the train before it starts moving again, but he manages to hop back on board before it pulls away too fast. Lemon comes across Yuichi and Prince, where he quickly determines that both of them are not there for noble purposes. Lemon shoots Yuichi, but he knows not to trust Prince. Unfortunately, he drank the spiked water and ends up passing out. Prince shoots Lemon in the chest and stashes him and Yuichi in the bathroom. Ladybug runs into Hornet, who was in disguise on the train as an anime character before swapping clothes with the concession girl. She stole the boomslang snake from the zoo and uses its venom to kill her victims, as the venom congeals the blood and makes the victims bleed from every orifice. 
Hornet poisoned everyone at Wolf's wedding, as she was also there as a pastry chef. Ladybug fights Hornet, who is there to collect her payment. She tries to stick him with a syringe containing the venom, but he takes a light jab while sticking her with the rest of it. Hornet tries to administer the anti-venom, but Ladybug takes it from her first and watches her crawl away to die. After this, Tangerine finds Lemon's body in the bathroom and tries to go after his killer. He talks to White Death again, who says that he bought every last ticket to Kyoto so there would only be the remaining few on the train. Tangerine runs into Prince and is almost fooled by her until he sees that Lemon left a sticker of the character Diesel from Thomas, meaning he knew she was a villain. Before Tangerine can kill Prince, Ladybug finds him again and fights him, ending with Ladybug shooting Tangerine in the neck, leaving him to bleed out before he can warn Ladybug about Prince. Ladybug tries to get Prince off the train at the next stop, but she deliberately keeps them on, fooling him with her innocent act. The Elder then boards the train since he overheard Prince on the phone and knew something was wrong on the train. He sits near Ladybug and Prince until Ladybug gets scared away when the Boomslang snake comes and bites him. The Elder confronts Prince, who prepares as her henchman gets ready to kill Yuichi's son. However, the Elder prepared for this and had his own assassin posing as a nurse, and she kills Prince's guy before he can touch Yuichi's son. Prince flees, and Ladybug returns. The Elder talks to him about how Ladybug thinks he is unlucky, and leaves him with the belief that everything happens for a reason. He also tells the story of how he was Mini Jishi's original confidant before White Death betrayed them, and he has vowed revenge on White Death for the death of his wife. Yuichi and Lemon then wake up, as Lemon was wearing a bulletproof vest. When he sees that Tangerine is dead, he becomes enraged and tries to go after Ladybug, but Yuichi and the Elder have them work together as they prepare to face White Death. The train arrives in Kyoto as White Death prepares to board. Prince confronts him, and it is revealed that they are father and daughter. She wanted to get his attention since he favored his son, and she attempts to get him to kill himself with the rigged gun, but he simply walks away from trying to kill her. The others confront him outside, while White Death's goons try to open the rigged briefcase. White Death then explains that everyone on that train was there because he orchestrated it, he has wanted revenge for the death of his wife, who was killed in a car accident that was an assassination attempt on him. Lemon and Tangerine killed White Death's men on a job in Bolivia, and he supplied them with info on other assassins. He also did not care for his son, as his wife's attempt to bail him out again from his crimes led to her death. Hornet was lured there because she poisoned the surgeon that could have saved his wife's life. Finally, he believes Ladybug is Carver, who orchestrated the assassination attempt. He was betting on all the assassins to kill each other. The briefcase then explodes just as Lemon gets the train to start running. Ladybug runs back on and is chased by White Death and his goons. The Elder battles White Death on the train while Ladybug and Lemon fight off the henchman as the train speeds out of control. As they kill the henchman, Ladybug attempts to hit the emergency brakes. Lemon ends up throwing himself and the last henchman out of the train as they pass over a bridge. Before White Death can kill the Elder, Ladybug hits the brakes, and Elder seizes an opportunity to impale his enemy close to death. The train then derails and crashes into a town. The surviving men exit the train, and White Death attempts to execute Ladybug, but he grabbed the rigged gun and blows half his own head off. Prince then tries to finish off Ladybug and the Kimuras, but she gets run over by a tangerine truck. Maria then arrives in person to rescue Ladybug while he parts with the Kimuras. He has embraced a positive outlook on life and believes he really is lucky, until a telephone pole comes crashing down onto Maria's car, forcing them to walk. As the credits start, we see that Lemon survived the fall off the train and hijacked the tangerine truck so he could run over Prince and avenge Tangerine. Subscribe our channel for more amazing explanations. Thanks for watching.